Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Hey! Amores, this is Kirby Marie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to some more The Wolf Among Us. Before I begin, as usual, I would appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notified about the latest videos, also drop the like button, it definitely helps a lot, and leave your comments and your thoughts on this video or anything in general. Um, so last episode where we left off, we pretty much started um, still at the strip club, um, and then we entered room where Girl, Nerissa, Nerissa, I almost forgot to pronounce her <laughs> And um, she helped us, um, you know, she has like a lacito Like the other girls, which I guess they can say something like it's like their trap and can confess everything So, but she did find a way to confess us and so we went to this um, apartment room where that's where um, You know, some of the, you know, um, have their dinghy <laughs> Um, and then over there in that place we encountered with Beauty who she's been working there due to her husband Beast not being able to find a job and uh, having enough money to pay rent or anything in general. Um, and what else? Uh, well Beauty helps us get to a room but then Beast show up and he starts acting like a total a-hole because he thinks that we're, we're sleeping with his wife in that sense. Um, which is not the truth. But thanks to that stupid fight, they open the door and see the incident, the blood and everything. And then we discovered the ugly truth that the one who probably did all this was, um, was Crane. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah! This is some creepy behavior! <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Our boss of all of them oh, and wow. so um, I am we went to the funeral disgusting. and talked about it with snow well trying not to be so evil in the funeral or anything like that and but the two twins came back um and they wanted me to not go after crane which i denied so hard and then they were in a fight and oh no wait and then uh, fate, not fate. Stupid. Holly's her name. I almost forgot her name. And then Holly and um, the other guy. Um, I don't know. I forgot his name. Bruh. That they transform into beasts and they were gonna fight with the twins and they just end up shooting both of them, hurting them in the process. Plus, I got hurt as well. It was like, my God. Yikes. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. What happened to the moment? We don't know if they're alive or not. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Without further ado, let's just. Just jump right in. All right, let's get to this. Episode three, a crooked mile. So yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that Crane broke the mirror glass so, so they don't find him. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <laughs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's, How's everyone, everyone else? else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Thank you! No oh, Titans, Grendel's baby. Okay. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. I'll, I'll try. try. to. All right, then. Very good. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it, then. Miss White? See ya. Big B? See ya, Mr. Doctor. She's like, you're shirtless! He's like... So, to recap... 
<laughs> Helen watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go That's out. exactly what and happened. We know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's Any no other lead? leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but... Do you really think he killed those women? He is because behind. He killed them. And he sent D and Dumb to oh, slow. Jesus. Hold on. My phone is sounding. Alright, let's resume. Sorry. How he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? The stop, stop! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. Well, that uh -huh. could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I, I feel, bad, feel for bad for Holly, really. I feel bad for Holly. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Hold on a second. I don't just... All right. Can I, um, ask you a question? What? It's kind of personal. Uh? Um? And I don't want to offend you. Sure. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Please. <laughs> Oh, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Girl, you have done it again. Uh, hey guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Of course you took it. What do you mean, missing a piece? Well, yes, Crane must have taken uh, it. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh. <sighs> I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just what is it? Waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. Just forget it. I'll find him myself. How? We don't know where he went. Well, that's why we have something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Duh! We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. All right, let's go. Let's talk to him for a second. Hey. Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. <laughs> See anything you didn't else? Didn't see anything else, did you? No, not uh, not especially. It's not your fault. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing. It's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Yeah. All right, um, where else do we have to go and look for now? I guess they can look at that. 
he just went all the way. All right, let's start with the notes. All right. Mr. Crane, you said you paid to have the place to redone in my building after the last <laughs> after the last incident and it, it's falling off the freaking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is. And I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you sent someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your crap together, Mr. Toad. <gasps> Next note. Dear Ichabod Crane, I am ready to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means but I assume it's something gross and I really like it if you fix the air like we asked you three months ago. Oh my At the God. very least provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Ichabod Crane, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions were could, could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents and I have to admit that I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think his sh this should make a priority. Best, Wayland Smith. Crane ever do any work? No. Only when Cole was around. More books. Blah. Before looking at that, or you know, I'd look at. They're all for looking at it. Let's see the book. Oh, he tear the page There's too. A page here that was torn out. Oh yeah. Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you, glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Bruh. Buffkin! And I'm hungover, I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Blue no. Beard, this isn't the time. Is the I mirror didn't get the key. Yours? God damn it. You called I me. I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No. The mirror. Can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. LOL! AM or PM? AM. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <sighs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. Do you know what it is? your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's a sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can Snow obviously can... handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Bruh. I mean, she's the only one who knows a little more. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. Bruh. And that he'll be there at two. <laughs> so that gives us 
A few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't of really course care I will. what you do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no Can interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. No. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't I get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. <laughs> He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Damn it. But where am I going then? Where are you gonna go, Bigby? <sighs> Let me think. My god, it's session time. I need to find the witch and... I think I'm just gonna go with Snow's situation. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need you. I'm at three decisions. Prince Apartments, Holly's Bar. God, this is so hard. Okay, I'm just gonna go to Crane's Most apartment. Right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. Crane's office I mean, number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope so, because I really do not know what <laughs> big eyes you have. I got a trophy saying that. So, is this his apartment? 1902, she said? I don't remember right now. Um, Snow said it? Crane lives in 1903. Oh! Now, why am I talking at well, I'm just gonna enter. Rain. One hour and 55 minutes left. I don't think we're gonna find this guy. He's got a statue of himself. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. I feel like we can find stuff in here. Can I s what's this that? Let me see. Come on, get in there. Oh, Same brand we found in the open arms. Huh. This hasn't been used in years. Hey, Christmas, Mr. Crane, thanks for... I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. What? Can I see this? Crane! Look, the crooked man is an happy compadre, mm. and as much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. So... My dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. Alright, everybody can stay upright.
watching you work. In the meantime, I'm unable to control myself. It's because I love you. This is some creepy behavior. See ya. My goodness, bruh. Please. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. The crooked man. What's going on here? What the hell? Let I'm gonna leave it because it's not my money. But all well, I want is to know. <sighs> Give me. It's mine now. It's mine. Might be useful. What is this though? Such a weirdo. Okay, um, what about this area over here? There's some stuff, yep. Ah, screwed it, clock. You sick mother effer. You sick. Disgusting. Yeah, nice the I joy of the love. Never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Okay. Um. I don't see any. Um. I already looked at the statue and the cutting. Let's use the key. I got the keys. Keys. I got the keys. Keys. I got the keys. Jack? Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain now. Explain yourself. Now! Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend. But you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. It, actually, it makes no sense. <laughs> You're robbing. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Stop it, dude. You got me. Just take it easy. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? What? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? Okay, he doesn't know. I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I... You know, this tortured, lonely pig-eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? No! What are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I'm investigating. Sure. I am telling the well, truth, too. Looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Rick. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. No thanks. Yeah, not gonna happen. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. What do you mean? What do you mean? You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Look, I'm not stupid. Big B Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathemagician, but I know two plus two is five, am I right? <laughs> I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. How about we continue this talk in a jail cell? Let's make ourselves a deal. 
I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Bruh. Come on, what do you say? No! It deals with thieves, Jack. Oh my god, I... Oh, I know, you're making all this <laughs> just to get out of trouble. Give me a little credit here, man. Would I do that to you? How about this? How about I tell you so you know I'm good for it? Then you can reconsider my offer, okay? Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's Where not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You okay, at least the name is kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, yes. that's more than what you came in with. Yeah. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, uh, I think you've got plenty to keep you busy. So, I'll, uh... <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on! <laughs> Look, let me just see and then I'll be like, Okay, you can go your merry way! Uh, uh, that's it? What the... <laughs> I, uh, I'm sorry, Jack. You can have the rest. I want this. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Yeah. Yes. It's part of the investigation, bruh. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. Yeah, you can take the rest. It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. Huh. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yes, yeah. sir. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You seem you nervous. nervous. about something? What do you mean? Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't steal anything else. Come on, Jack. You're wasting my time here, bruh. <laughs> Pick me? <laughs> no. Are you still here? We're in here, Snow. We? Who else is... What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? Yeah, Our friend right. Jack was caught stealing. Oh, come on! Is that right? But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Wow! Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it? I don't know. Mm, maybe? Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. I'll figure it out. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. There's nothing with the Tweedles. I'm just going to go to the trip trap. I'll go to the trip trap. See about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. Thank we'll you. will catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Alright, but as much as I would like to continue this episode, I am going to end this one here. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, would appreciate it if you do. Also, leave your comments and your thoughts on this video or anything in general. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Love you all. I appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye!